Giving it all we got Giving it all we can Giving it all we got oh. Climbing up to the top of the world No fear, we're gonna make it Everything we want is ours Whoa. How you doing? Good morning from the Thai farm. Once again, this is the place to be if you're up to it. It's kind of a retired life thing, but I suppose anybody could do it. Whoa, speaking of doing it, I did it this morning and that was I went and bought a bunch of tubed black steel they call that lek dam, which means dark metal versus the galvanized. And uh, because I don't need galvanized, man. You know, obviously this is gonna rust. But if I spray it with, you know, barbecue black spray paint, or whatever, it's not gonna rust that much. So I ain't worried about that. I am going to attempt today to, before it gets too baking hot, I think it's nine o'clock now or something. Uh, to create my framework up here on the top so hopefully I bought enough I won't have to buy any extra gotta go get my welder and, oh you know what I don't have any sticks I got like five sticks or three sticks I think I'm gonna need to go buy some freaking welding sticks and then uh, you know it's not too wet it's still the wood up there and that's kind of still wet but the sun's coming out or it's out so i should be able to weld with reasonable safety from electrocuting myself we did uh have to do some you know recovery on that uh, rain from yesterday and i my wife cut that tree up i actually i cut it again but i my windmill, some of y'all see now, you know, it's a little Thai craft windmill thing. I took my post hole digger yesterday and I, the, the six inch or whatever, and I put it down about a meter or so, and then I took that cut off branch from the lightning or whatever, and uh, stuck it straight down to the bottom of that, secure it, because I have a couple, of, I had a couple of uh, eucalyptus over there kind of holding that lang lang tree up. Um, and the windmill thing but the winds knocked it down for about the 10th time i had zip ties and tie wire and all that stuff up there you know it wasn't that strong but hopefully this one because the trunk is like four inches you know and then i put it down at least a meter the whole the whole length of the of the post hole digger the, and it was easier because the rain had softened the dirt right so i was able to get down all the way in there to the hard dirt but uh and then i used some mounts to mount that windmill there but when the wind starts hauling bud i wouldn't doubt that mother nature's you know centripetal forces still rip that thing off of it the tree might stay in one place but uh you know i might already repaired that thing a bunch of times too funny but yeah so ouch yeah i'm gonna weld it Today, hopefully, I, sh I should be able to finish, right? First, I gotta chop it. I gotta cut them up. Cut them up, head them up, move them out. Yeah, so I gotta get my chop saw. And I gotta change my chop saw blade because it appears, I'm looking at it, I did not sw swap out my wood blade yet. It's got a wood blade on there. I gotta swap that out from my what's left of my metal cutter. I still got enough blade here, but usually it's these things are about like that. So I've used it a lot, but I can still use it. Enough to cut the small tubing like I have, so that should be alright. The plow the the fields are all plowed now. The neighbors all done. He also did ours. So, looks nicer. A lot of water though. I got too much water. 
Now the water. Now I got standing water in my in my scrap PVC bin, which I think I knew that when I was when I was chucking it all in here. I was saying to myself, "What happens when it rains? This is gonna fill up." So, oh my God. That, that looks like a frog or something. Hey, you know, still my part. Because it'll rain again today. Actually, what will probably happen, it'll probably rain so much that I, I have to go in there and pull all those things out by hand. The trash guy doesn't take them. I mean, I could... Like I said, I think in my last video about the cement board and all that. PVC, you know, if I broke it up and just stuck it a couple pieces in a trash bag and did it, you know, every week until all that stuff was gone, I could get away with it. But then I'm just kind of passing the buck, aren't I? Because they're going to get it. Although they might be a better resource to do something with it when they find it. So then there's that. Where are you, man? This is my... Yep. All right, well, hey, guys. Let me, uh, let me get ready. Get out to the store. I'm going to take a scooter over there and get me some more welding sticks. Bring my welder and my chop saw and everything over there. And we'll take a look at what I can get done. We'll get right back at you. Got to use my snake gloves. These are my snake bite proof gloves. They got a different liner than the welding glove, but I don't have my welding gloves because they're all holy. I keep forgetting to buy new ones. But this will do. So I don't get burned. I think I'm gonna go home. <laughs> Whoa. Damn. Spook me. <sighs> oh my god. It's high noon, come past that and oh my god. I'm done doing enough welding and everything for today. weren't the same exact size as I had in my mind but you know basically a two bar did on both sides and you know a frame that's just tied together off the top I still have to weld that top I did weld the bottom square so it's all one piece and it's stable I'm gonna add I'm probably gonna you know have to add a bunch of other bars in there and this and that but all that metal I got a little bit left over that was like a thousand baht so you know 30 bucks or whatever it's getting there man I don't even see that from over there I think it's gonna look all right if I find it know what it's gonna look like I'm exhausted I can't talk my wife did come over though and give her two cents and say where's the door please let me finish 
All right, man, well, I'm gonna knock myself out, so if I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. I'll catch you on the next one.